Hey guys, welcome back. This is the fourth video in my Philips Hue series. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use the third-party app, Lightbow. Now, Lightbow is a pretty cool app where it allows you to make your own scenes along with test out various scenes that are already pre-made for you. If you haven't subscribed already, then please go ahead and subscribe now. All right, let's get started. So let's start by opening up the Lightbow app. So on the left side, you have all of your presets. On the bottom, you have the presets button, the lights button, featured, triggers, and settings. Going back to the left side, we see all the presets that come with the app when you purchase it. You get a whole bunch of different variety of things. You get warm white, sidewalk chalk, tropical, all on, dim to 30% brightness, tranquility, fire, rainbow. Now, some of these are also dynamic ones. Dynamic scenes means that the lights change over time. So one of the big features about this app is that it allows you to make your own custom presets. So to make a preset, let's go ahead and make one. So on the top left of the screen, you can see a plus icon. So press that and it brings up a new preset screen. So first, let's name the preset. Let's name it for this instance, Sunset. So now it gives you different assignments that you can start with. So you can choose colors, whites, brightness only, turn on or turn off. For this instance, we're going to use colors. Okay, so now the main part of the screen, you see a whole bunch of different options. Now it looks kind of intimidating at first, but I promise you, once you get the hang of it, it's super easy to do. Now, right here you see a red circle. Now this circle indicates one setting. Now, in order to add different colors into the setting, you go ahead and press animation steps. So on the plus, you put however many animation steps you wanna create. So let's put four animation steps for now. So on the first circle, that is the main color for that animation step. So that animation step is gonna be red. Now let's say the next step, let's make it a nice purpley color. So we can go ahead and slide it to purple. Now let's say the next one, we want to have it a deep blue. So let's go ahead and slide that to blue. And now the last step, let's make it something like an orange. All right, so now these are the four colors that are in our preset. And what's basically gonna happen the way it is right now is when it plays, it's just gonna alternate between these. Now let's say you wanna have them fade into each other. So if you press each of these little triggers, arrows, you get a whole bunch of different steps. Now in between you get um, a fade option. So what that means is it'll fade into the next color instead of just flashing into it. So we can go ahead and do that for each of the different animation steps to make it very smooth. So now let's say that we have three bulbs in a room and we want each of the bulbs to do its own thing. So to do that, we can go ahead and duplicate this whole um, light scene that we've just created. So to do that, you hold down the color wheel at the top and you'll get an option that says duplicate. So you press duplicate. Let's do that three times. Okay, now let's go into the second one. So second one, let's say instead of red, let's start out with blue. And the next one, let's go into red. And the next one, let's go into orange. And now let's go back to the third one. Let's do something different also for this one. Let's say let's start off with a, a dark blue then back into red, and then back into blue again. And let's say, let's have this one as orange. So now what we just did is create three different settings. Now, in order to assign that to each bulb, it's a little bit of a tricky step. So watch carefully. So we're gonna go into the settings menu, and here we see assign lights automatically. What that means is that it's automatically going to assign assignments to each one. So that's great if you don't wanna control the lights to an extent and have it complicated. But if you really want control over your lights, then I highly recommend turning that off. In order to assign it to each app, you'll see on the right side, a whole new window of lights came up. So right now we have the third color scene highlighted. So let's go ahead and put that on the lamp. Now let's go to the second scene. Let's assign that to the right spotlight. Now first scene, let's attach that to the left spotlight. So what that just did is it assigned manually each light bulb to each color scene that we just created. Now let's say you wanna test it out and play it. So all you do is you press the sunset preset on the left side and it'll automatically start rotating and showing you that the scenes are moving along. Now let's say you wanna make each of these transitions a little bit longer. So to make each transition longer, you just go into each transition 
and make the step duration a little bit longer or shorter, however you want. So that's that. Now you also have different options. You have saturation options, you have brightness op options. Um, you can also do the overall brightness all the way at the top for the entire scene that you created. Um, there's also an option called randomized values in range. So that's how to create a scene. It's pretty straightforward once you get it. It's not too bad at all. So now let's explore some of the tabs that we have on the bottom again. So we have the light tab, then we can go to featured. Now featured shows you all the different pre-made presets that you can purchase. All right, let's go into triggers. So now triggers is a pretty cool and very powerful tool. It allows you to do a whole bunch of different automation techniques. So let's go ahead and create a trigger. So to create a trigger, you press the plus icon at the top left. Now you have a couple of different options. You have timer, alarm, app close, light switch, app open, and shake. Now choosing one of these different settings automatically tells the app to go ahead and do a different light scene. So let's go ahead and do an alarm setting. Let's say every day we wanna wake up at 5.30 a.m. Now at 5.30 a.m., let's trigger a warm white setting. So at 5.30 a.m. every day, the scene is automatically gonna uh, change to warm white. Another thing I really like to do is to go into presets right before bed and put on the sunset at the beach preset, which I made myself. Then go back into triggers and use the timer trigger. After 30 minutes of playing, the lights will automatically turn off. So yeah, that's the Lightbo app. Now, if you really like this video, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you really, really like this video, then go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, guys.